Why does Wrath of the Lich King feel so forgotten? Do you guys remember Wrath of the Lich King? Who did you guys forget? No? Yeah, it was like with that guy, right? What the heck happened to Wrath of the Lich King? It seemed like a few months ago or whenever Wrath of the Lich King came out, everybody was losing their minds about Wrath, including Blizzard. People were making videos about it left and right. Machinima was popping up about the Lich King again. All this sort of hype was just across the internet for Wrath of the Lich King. This is what like classic World of Warcraft was all about. It was yep. all It was all for this about getting to Wrath of the Lich King. Yes, classic WoW is great. Yeah, Ragnaros and all that garbage. And yeah, uh -huh. TBC, Outer Space, and Draenei, and Illidan. Man, screw that. It's all about getting to the Lich King, dude. Climbing Ice Crown Citadel. Killing yep. the Lich King. Dude, that's what classic WoW was all about. People were freaking hyped for this expansion. And you know what? It came out, and it's like nobody gives a shit anymore. Well, it's because Blizzard doesn't give a shit. That's why they added a WoW token. It's because they don't give a fuck anymore. Like, I stopped caring about Wrath when Blizzard stopped caring about Wrath. And they stopped caring about Wrath whenever they added the WoW token. That's the way I feel about it. Like... That's it. Like, I, I just, like, I don't want to play an RMT game. Like, I'm already playing Retail WoW. I already play Lost Ark. Like, I don't want to play another RMT game. Like, no one cares. What the heck happened? Now, I, I admit, I'm going to be 100% transparent here. I love Wrath of the Lich King. I'm wearing a freaking Nixium Death Knight shirt right now, yo. But even Those I'm not- the original Death Knights, not the ones uh, after the Wrath of the Lich King events. We talked about that yesterday. Those are the Horde Death Knights. I'm playing it right now. And I sat here earlier today and yesterday in the past few days, and I'm like, why the heck am I not playing Wrath of the Lich King? What have I been doing this entire time? I could be playing my Death Knight and going through like Old War and everything and Trial of the Crusader okay. and everything and I'm not doing it. And what's everybody else doing? You know why I'm not doing it also is because I already did it. I did it and it was one of the greatest experiences of my life. I remember it all so clearly. It was so good, man. Getting my black Proto Drake, being the only guild on our faction that had it, and then it gets removed from the game and nobody can ever fucking get it. I'm like the one, the only one. It's just me and my boys that have it. And we get to hold that over people forever. We're still doing it. We're still, wait, you remember Paladini from Classic WoW? He and I got the Black Proto Drake together 3,000 years ago on that fateful night. It was a good time. Who's your rogue? Rixa. We had Rixa and Senna. Well, I remember them very well. Rixa was a Russian game tester, and Senna was just your average cool dude that lived in uh, New York. Where's all the Wrath content? Where's all the Wrath love? Senna helped me get my, uh... Bro, like, we used to go hard. Like, he helped me get my, uh... What do you call it? Brewfest Kodo. Yeah, man, like, those were the days. I'll never forget that shit. Fuck, man. That guy, ST Pally, in my classic WoW raids, he was also in the raid that we got the Black Proto Drake in. 3,000 years ago. Blizzard was pumping out social media posts left and right back so in the day where they were just like, dude, Wrath is coming, dude. Check compete? out them Death Knights. Check playing? out yes. that Lich King. Check out Northrend Penguins. And now it's just like, it's just all stopped. I want to talk about Wrath of the Lich King today. I want to talk about what I think is the problem with Wrath and where Blizzard, I think, might have messed up a little bit when it came to Wrath of the Lich King. But first, we well, do have... They, the reason why they messed up is because Wrath of the Lich King was messed up. Wrath of the Lich King was the departure from World of Warcraft. Wrath of the Lich King was the expansion that Blizzard tried to capture a larger audience by alienating their original one. It's a time that they decided that they didn't want to be an MMO anymore. They wanted to be a raid simulator. They wanted to be a patch simulator. Wrath of the Lich King was the beginning of the end. It's just nobody knew it at the time. And now that we're able to play it again, everybody sees that I was right. And I've always been right. The only true great MMO in the entire history of WoW was Classic WoW. It stands head and shoulders above any other expansion, any other point in time in the game, 
Nothing else even comes close. Burning Crusade is the next best thing. And it's so far below it. I have to thank this channel's sponsor, Zygor. If you want the ultimate World of Warcraft add-on for leveling and dragon flight or classic, profession guides, mount collecting, pet collecting, end game progression, just whatever you want, you need to check out Zygor linked down below in the description. It is known as World of Warcraft's greatest add-on for a reason. It's actually not true. The greatest add-on is uh, my total RP3. And if you disagree with me, download the add-on and go to the Moonguard Goldshire Inn. Wrath of the Lich King was World of Warcraft's like biggest, most importantest expansion. Yeah. It is Wrath of the Lich King. It was that expansion where World of Warcraft reached its peak population of over 12 million players That's online. And people loved this expansion. They, they loved the Death Knights. They Keep in mind, during Wrath of the Lich King, people were saying negative things about Wrath of the Lich King. Like, one of the most popular PvP guilds in uh, on KT. And, like, you can ask, by the way, like, any of these stories about Wrath, ask Mitch. And, because we were on the same server together. Like, he was on KT, I was on KT. I think Soda was on KT for a while. Um, there's a number of people that uh, grew up on Kel'Thuzad. And he'll tell you the same fucking thing. Wrath of the Lazy Kids. The PvP guild. Loved the continuation of Arthas's storyline. They loved North Red, the Snow, as well. the Tundra, the Aurora Borealis and shit. Dude, it was freaking awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. Wrath of the Lich King introduced Inscription. It updated the talent trees. It made the yeah. classes more fun to play as. Wrath of the Lich True. King was a very good expansion when it came Wrath out. Wrath of the Lich King completed classes. There were three pinnacles of class design. Four, arguably, if you really like Corruptions in 8.3. The first pinnacle was Wrath of the Lich King. The second pinnacle was Mists of Pandaria, patch 5.4. And the third pinnacle was Legion. Any other opinions besides those three points in time in the game are just factually wrong. And it has gone down in history as World of Warcraft's best expansion yeah. ever made. Peak World of Warcraft, many people would argue. Oh yeah, it Nothing is. beats Wrath of the Lich King. And so, when Blizzard re-released Classic WoW back in 2019, like I said, everybody was hyped to get to Wrath of the Lich King, including myself. Mm -hmm. I was making videos even saying things like, hey, let's see what people are going to say about Wrath of the Lich King. It's been a couple of years since back then when Wrath first came out. And, you know, are people going to like Wrath? Are they going to think it's cool? Or are they going to think it's boring now that we're in 2023? I guess we're going to find out. Yeah. And here's what I think happened. First of all, I'm just going to be blunt here. I think that everyone and their mom forgot that, yes, Wrath was a good expansion, but it wasn't that good of an expansion, okay? You want to know another reason why Wrath died? Is because classic WoW players are trash. They're so bad at the game. It's insane how bad they are. It's sad how bad they are. So Wrath of the Lich King was massive at the beginning. And do you want to know why? Because in the beginning, you had things like Max Ramos 25 man that gave you the best gear in the game. But the moment that Olduar comes out, all those dad guilds... So... What you have to understand about classic WoW players is they're a lot like woolly mammoths. They're old, they're slow, they're gray, and they don't think too fast. And so Old War was the ending of the Ice Age. And what happened was that all of these classic WoW players that, you know, were best in slot every season and they had all their best gear, well, they can't move left within three seconds of a mechanic. They need like nine seconds. So whenever that happened, Olduar destroyed Classic WoW because Classic WoW was meant for brain-dead woolly mammoths. And they went extinct. That's what happened. That's why Wrath died. I played Wrath of the Lich King. 
back in the day. Like when I was a young children, mm -hmm. I was like playing some Wrath of the Lich King. And I'll tell you right now from firsthand experience, this expansion was not as good as people say it was. Like, was it a good expansion? Of course it was a good expansion, but there was a lot of cons with Wrath yeah. that people talked about on the forums. People were making videos about it, machinima about it, whatever. Oh yeah. Wrath did have some problems, and I think these problems Bro, have resurfaced and people are now aware okay. of them. First and foremost, let's just talk about lore. Wrath of the Lich King's lore was kind of weird. You have Arthas, everybody's favorite World of Warcraft lore yeah. character, and all throughout, like, Wrath's lore, Arthas is kind of just doing a, I'll get you next time, kids. Like, he's kind of pulling that over and over. He pops up, he sees you, you're causing trouble for the Scourge. Ah, you know, I'll, I'll get you next time. You better not keep messing with me or I'm gonna get you. And then he just leaves. And you're kind of like- People complained about this whenever the game came out. Dude, like, can you just like kill me? Like, yeah. come on, like, like kill me, daddy. Mm. The lore was a little bit weird, and of course in Ice Cream Citadel this was answered because, you know, yeah. Arthas was trying to create the most powerful, you know, undead people undead that army. he could find, and that's like you guys, like yeah. fighting the Lich King or something. Kind of strange, you know, it's very hit or miss for some people. The Death Knight lore, for example, how the hell did the Death Knights break free of the Lich King's command? In the comic Thessarian, it shows that if the Lich King commands you to kill your own family, you will kill them. No hesitation, you, no hesitation whatsoever. You're just watching yourself do horrible things. You're just completely tormented by it, but you will obey the Lich King. But apparently in the lore of Light's Hope Chapel, like the whole battle there, apparently the Lich well, King- Well, didn't the Lich King, the Lich King didn't know about the power of friendship. So of course he lost. How could he have possibly won? Yeah, come on. Betraying Mograine and the Knights of the Ebon Blade, apparently that makes them go, hey, you're an asshole. We're not gonna listen to you anymore. And that's the lore. Like that, that's what happens. Which, by the way, I actually don't even like any of this lore. I think it's stupid. I think that the original Death Knights predate the Lich King. Like as far as I know, I th I think that they do. So I thought that the Lich King controlled the Scourge. Like the, the Lich King doesn't control a death like a death knight, these are like the th these are like super powerful fucking like entities. Like these are like the actual like real dudes. Tide of War had death knights? Yeah, Terran Gorfine, exactly, yeah. And so like these guys, why would they be controlled by the Lich King? I think Death Knights really got nerfed. I'll be honest. They got fucking nerfed. And don't give me that. Oh shit, you know, it was the, it was the Ashbringer, dude. You know dude. who else got nerfed? It was Paladins. Paladins and Death Knights both got nerfed. Because Paladins used to go so hard. They used to go so ridiculously fucking hard. A Paladin was the only thing that could square up against a Death Knight. Nobody else even had a chance. Dude, the Ashbringer's light, you know, made them, like, f become free of the Lich King, whatever. Mograine and friends had already decided to, like, betray the Lich King. Like, yeah. He threw the Corrupted Ashbringer to Tyrion, and the whole light thing hadn't even happened yet, and he already decided, hey, man, the Lich King's an asshole, I'm not gonna follow him. So don't give me that BS lore explanation. I'm sick of seeing that in the damn comment section. Learn the, the chronological sequence of events yeah, of that of lore event, yo. And the damn Ashbringer, they were just angry. They were salty that the Lich King told them to go out there and die. Yeah. And that shouldn't have happened. Anyway. The point is, is that the lore was a little bit questionable. The Lich King should have never been able to control Death Knights. The Lich King should have just had control over all the Scourge and the non-sentient um, undead. Like, the, the, the Death Knights should have never been under control of the Lich King. It doesn't make sense. The dungeons and stuff Death Knights were also very, very the easy. King, this was it. the introduction of Tank and Spank, World of Warcraft, and people did not like it. Back in TBC and in Classic WoW, polymorphing and sapping and crowd control, like, that was a thing, dude. That was a thing. And it I don't even really agree with that. I think that back in the day, bro, like, we used to speedrun, like, I was in a pretty good guild in Burning Crusade, right? Like, bro, we would just fucking face roll the heroics. Remember back whenever heroics came out in BC for, like, Classic BC? We face rolled the fuck out of it. We didn't need to CC or do anything like that. Now, Wrath of the Lich King was more chain pulling, but the reason why you were able to chain pull in Wrath is because of tank aggro, mainly. You could do that exact same thing if you had a Paladin tank in BC.
Everybody freaking loved it, except for the people that didn't like it. But that was like, yeah. that was how you did a World of Warcraft. That's how you did a World of Warcraft dungeon. And then Wrath of the Lich King comes along. The Lich King with his big fucking frozen wiener. And he just slaps that across the face and knocks that out of the game. Now it's just yep. tank and spank, dude. Just run through the dungeon as fast as you can. Get those little emblems, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. It was annoying. The raids at launch. Oh my goodness, dude. Nax Ramus was a freaking joke. Okay. Nobody liked Nax. Sartharion, with, even with three drakes, it was not that fun. Malagos was a bit. I actually think Sartharion three drakes was an incredibly great fight. It was very well designed. I think it had a lot of intricate mechanics, and it was probably one of the most mechanically complex fights Blizzard had ever made at the time. I actually liked Sartharion three drakes. I thought it was very well designed. Dude, you guys remember that Machinima Ulduar? You know, yeah. I ain't got no epics, ain't got no achievements because no. I ain't first I rate. This. That video was amazing. And that, what um, is that Warcraft video about? Movies. That's just complaining that people just want to really get to Ulduar because the rating scene really sucked at the beginning of Wrath of the Lich King. PvP was a freaking nightmare because Wintergrasp was just a laggy mess. Yeah. Like causing lag for all these servers. Listen, Wrath of the Lich King was not as good as people said it was, okay? Like it, like, it was good, but damn, it wasn't that good. It was not like the holy grail of World of Warcraft, yo. And I think that people... I think Wrath was the pinnacle of PvP in, like, Classic and Burning Crusade. Like, if you cared about competitive and good PvP, Wrath had the best PvP. Like, Burning Crusade PvP I thought was garbage. Because it had, like, it had the pseudo-balance of Wrath, but with the same jankiness of Classic WoW. I thought TBC was much worse. Uh, I do think that, like, Classic WoW has, like, its own unique, like, vibe to it with PvP, so I, I struggle to even compare it. But, like, Classic WoW PvP, let's be honest, it was kind of bad as well, too. Got into Wrath of the Lich King, you know, with this, you know, this re-release, and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, wow. Th this expansion sometimes kind of licks balls, because yeah. it kind of did. Also, yeah. did I mention Death Knights are slightly overpowered in Wrath of the Lich King? Did, did I mention that? Well, just so you know. So that's 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 like the first thing that I think might have caused Death Knights are very strong, but I don't think that they're like broken overpowered. I think the only reason they were broken overpowered at the beginning was that ghoul thing. People to lose a lot of interest in Wrath of the Lich King. But um it's definitely not the big thing. The big thing is that Blizzard decided to do something yeah, which I, yeah. I can't fault them for this. I really can't. But Blizzard decided to release Dragonflight around the exact same time that Wrath of the Lich King came out. You can see yeah. the dates on your screen right well, now. I think that what was an fine. Odd thing to do. Like your player base is already going to be divided between classic and you know modern retail WoW, and yet you sort of intention. It was like two months, right? I mean, I don't think it was really that. I mean, it's like th two or three months. That's a pretty good amount orchestrate the division by releasing these two expansions around the exact same time kind of strange dragonflight look dragonflight is not a bad expansion okay anyone who's played dragonflight seriously can say it's okay it's certainly better than shadowlands it's not amazing it's not gonna blow your mind and dragonflight it's got its cons it don't exactly feel like you know og warcraft you know orcs versus humans and blood and fighting. I mean, Blizzard brought the factions together. You're going around petting these adorable looking dragons and stuff. Like, yes, Dragonflight has its cons, but as a whole, it's an okay expansion. And so it's not really that surprising that a lot of Wrath of the Lich King players, once Dragonflight came out, they went and played Dragonflight. Well, I think that would have happened no matter what. I mean, that's the good thing about the way that they have it designed, is that like Wrath of the Lich King or Classic WoW has like you know, it goes up, and then whenever it's going down, then retail goes up. And then whenever retail goes down, then Classic WoW goes up. There's a new patch. So it keeps people invested all the time. I think that's okay. And of course, Blizzard wanted people to play the new expansion. Because in the new expansion, they can monetize. Like, a, a Dragonflight player is worth more, probably, to Blizzard than a Classic WoW player. Because Dragonflight people can buy all kinds of stuff on the store. Whereas, like, in, in uh, Wrath... You know, before the WoW token, at least, they couldn't buy anything, really. I mean, that's what a lot of people would do, obviously. And you know what's strange is that after Dragonflight came out, it's like Blizzard just gave up on all the marketing for Wrath of the Lich King. I, I don't know if anybody else noticed that. Am I the only one? It was like Wrath of the Lich King marketing and memes and everything was all over Blizzard's social media, videos, promotions, patch overviews with content creators. I feel like that's just a general marketing 
like push right they market the game a lot before it comes out then they stop but yeah he's right i mean it would be nice if they did more marketing past that blah 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 everything that you can imagine and then suddenly like all that stopped it was like oh uh, dragon flight's out now yeah. so you know screw wrath of the lich king and it's like blizzard kind of gave well, up they want to move everybody over to wrath or sorry, over to Dragonflight. That's what they want to do, is they want to get everybody to go over to Dragonflight and play that instead, because that's where they can monetize people way more. That's what's going to be updated regularly. And like, yeah, that's the main content. Like, Classic WoW is meant to be like a funnel to get people back into retail. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's fine. On it. Like, that, that's... That's kind of how I felt anyway, that Blizzard just gave up on Wrath of the Lich King once Dragonflight came mm -hmm. out. But that's just my opinion. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. That's, yeah, that, yeah. But that's my, that, was, that was my impression. Wrath of the Lich King did continue, you know, to trudge along. Yes, there were videos oh, yeah. made to promote like new patches and whatnot. Yes, yeah. you know, they got Hurricane in there. He was making those awesome that CGI really cinematic cool. things, promoting what was coming up next. Hurricane, fantastic. I love his work. Check him out. But Wrath of the Lich King seemed to have been slightly discarded in favor of Dragonflight. Not that surprising. Obviously, Blizzard wants to promote their new product. But then yeah, there was course. a third problem, and it was something that I don't think anybody could have foreseen. And that was the rise of hardcore classic, OG. I could have foreseen this. I think anybody could have. Like, the fall of Old War. Yeah, I don't think it was a coincidence that this started getting popular after Old War. It's because Old War was too hard. Straight up, it was just simply too hard. I'll be right back. And that was the rise of hardcore classic. OG classic WoW. Hardcore, of course, is the thing that Blizzard eventually copied and decided to make their own version of. Smart. But before Blizzard released official Hardcore Realms, you had this sudden boom in the classic World of Warcraft community, I was a part of it certainly, of all these people going back to the original vanilla servers and doing hardcore runs. Just I also think that hardcore WoW... Like, so... Hardcore WoW isn't actually that popular. I'm gonna say it. It's really not. It's popular. But there are only a handful of servers, and a lot of people like watching it. Like, for example, Hardcore WoW is a better viewing experience, so you see more people consuming content for it. But in terms of the actual players, the actual people that are competing and playing, not competing, but playing and taking part in it, it's not that big. It's super niche, yeah. Playing the game over and over, seeing if you could Just make it to level 60. You know, you only got one life, death equals delete, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Yeah, I even got a t-shirt for that for those watch. of you guys that are hardcore fans out there. I love this t-shirt. I, I actually got one right here. Where is it? Dude, check this thing out, dude. Death equals delete. Oh, shit. Look at that. Amazing. It's kind of all wrinkly, though, because I was wearing it yesterday at the gym. Anyway, link down below in the description. The point is, is that World of Warcraft Hardcore shoved its big throbbing what nixium's trying to show off here that he changes his shirt every day what kind of flexing is this what the fuck hand oh wow into, into the oh, wrath wow. of the lich king population and stole a ton of the Weird player flex, but okay that yeah didn't help wrath of the lich king either every single person and their mom is playing freaking hardcore and just running yeah, these exactly. damn hardcore runs over and over and now Blizzard has released these official hardcore realms. So you got Dragonflight going yep. on. You got Classic WoW going yep. on. You got Wrath of a Lich King going on. Yep. And you got Hardcore WoW going There's on. There's a lot. Like all over the place, man. Now I'm not complaining and about that. And then you that. also have people... No, no, keep in mind, you also have people that are playing Classic Era. Like, if you go to the Era servers, there's a lot of people on them. Like, Classic Hardcore, a lot of people played Hardcore. They went to play Hardcore, then they lost their character at, like, level 37. And they're like, well, I guess I'll just play it on the regular server. It's huge. Did he say that? Oh, shit. Am I, am I, I'm not listening? Am I not listening? Let me see. So you got Dragonflight going on. You got Classic WoW going on. You got Wrath of a Lich King going oh, on. Oh, I guess he said Classic. I just saw him at Classic WoW Hardcore. No, he, and he, he got did. Hardcore he did. He did WoW going on. Yep. Like, no, it's I'm right. all over He's the right. place, He's man. Right. Now, I'm not right. complaining about that. Okay, before yeah. you leave that damn comment down below saying, look at you, you asked for like, you know, this 
division of people playing their own versions of World of Warcraft. Yeah, this is good. You're complaining about it. I ain't complaining about that at it's all, great. bitch. All right? I actually think yeah. that's a great thing, but it certainly didn't help the damn Wrath of the Lich King population. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, there's also a fourth thing, fourth element that nobody wants to talk about, and it's simply this. Blizzard Entertainment kind of licks balls when it comes to their PR right now, okay? Blizzard is still kind of seen as a big frickin' joke in the gaming community. It just is what it is, okay? Like, Blizzard- Well, Blizzard's seen, like, as a joke. I think that the- you know what the real fucking- I think the real nail in the coffin was? It was Overwatch. Blizzard saying Overwatch 2 just, like, isn't gonna happen. Because, like, at least Diablo 4 came out. So, like, this is the difference, right? Is that we all hope that one day in Season 17, Blizzard will probably finally fix Diablo 4. And the game will one day be good. And Diablo 5, they will have learned from their mistakes, and they won't do the same thing again, and it's going to be great. But with Overwatch 2, they killed hope. Because people have had hope for Overwatch, and... To, to do that is a thousand times worse. You know, all the scandals mm -hmm. that have happened in the office aside, you ain't ever going to recover from the damn Fruit Bowl incident, yeah. for example. Ain't no one going to forget that. No, nah, bro. I don't know. Blizzard's very disconnected. No, nah, you're right, because, like, that shit's weird. You're going to change a picture of a girl to a Fruit Bowl? What the hell's wrong with you, you fucking freak? What do you mean? Why? What kind of a weirdo does this shit? Player base, let's put it that way. The, the point is, there's a lot of people out there that don't want to give Blizzard money, okay? Bro, they don't want to give so Blizzard good. a dime. So what they're doing is these people want to play World of Warcraft, they don't want to give Blizzard any money. And so what are they doing? They're going and playing on private servers, yo. They're going and playing on like freaking Turtle WoW and Ascension and yeah. all these other private Warming. servers and stuff that's giving better content than Blizzard Entertainment is. And that didn't help the Wrath of a Lich King population. That didn't help the World of Warcraft population in general. No. And all these private servers, they don't give a shit. They're just collecting all these players left and right, and their servers are hosted over in Russia, and so Blizzard can't touch them. But now, we are finally, you know, nearing the release of Ice Cream Citadel. Ooh. The final raid of Wrath of a Lich King. And can Blizzard turn this around? Can they make Wrath of the Lich King like, you know, all these players flood in to fight the Lich King, and can they make it this big epic conclusion to the- I might try out Wrath of the Lich King, like, might uh, try out ICC, play it again, kill the Lich King again, but, like, I remember whenever I killed the Lich King. Dude, I remember- okay, so let me actually go back, let me see if I can find this. I don't know if, if we still have this video on my channel. <laughs> hey, Is this it? it? There's me, right there. Look at that beard! Uh, one of them, I don't know fucking remember, I don't use it on. Is that it? Beard! Jesus Christ. Fuck. That wasn't it? Oh, bro, in this video, I remember part of it. They actually asked me? This is like some, yeah, a bunch, everybody came over. Like, the reason why this happened. Is because everybody came over that morning and they wanted to know what it was like to kill the Lich King. They were like, so, so like, what was it like? Like whenever you fucking kill them and like, so like, did he drop anything? Like, what was it like? What the fuck? Right? Like, cause you did. Cause I was like the first one that killed the Lich King. It was a, it was a very good time, man. Now you look good in your thirties. Yeah. Thanks man. Appreciate it. Okay. Anyway, where's the shirt now? It's in my closet. most popular expansion of all time yeah it was a uh, big probably deal probably not but if they were going to do this the first thing they got to do is they got to start promoting the crap out of wrath of the lich king again they got to start saying like dude this is your time to fight the lich king this is your time to go to ice crown citadel this is the time to get to shadow buy this is your time to buy wow tokens and if you buy enough wow tokens you can buy enough shadow frost shards and if you buy enough wow tokens you can buy enough primordial serenite and if you buy enough wow tokens you can buy a carry for the blood infusion and the frost infusion and the unholy infusion and if you buy enough of those then maybe you can buy frostmourne and then if you buy frostmourne then you can buy a carry through arena so you can buy your gladiator mount Morn, this is the time to get that freaking like Frostworm Vanquisher thing or whatever it's called, that damn yeah. flying mount that I fly around with on Nixium that I got years ago. 
You know, you, you got to make it like this big event, Blizzard. Hype it up. Do some races. Do some events. This is the Lich King that you're talking about. Start building hype, yo. Aside from that, though, that's pretty much all they can do. And they ain't doing it. And it's kind of sad. I mean, people aren't people don't really appreciate Wrath of the Lich King as much as they used to back in the day. And, you know, I'm included in that list. I'm not playing Wrath of the Lich King right now. I'm playing Classic WoW Hardcore. Now that I'm recording this whole video, though, like every fiber of my being is like, dude, I got that paladin, dude. He's like level 74, man. He's like in dragon, uh, dragon blight or whatever. Like, go, go level him. Like, that's what I'm thinking once I'm done recording this. So uh, maybe I'll play some Wrath of the Lich King. I don't know, but I don't know. Kind of wish that Wrath had gotten a little bit more love, more of the love that maybe it deserved. I wish. I just like the reason why I stopped playing is that I felt like every raid I did, I was just like, it was just all about the worst player in the raid doing something wrong. And, like, I could never get anything done in the game, and, like, the raids were too hard, and my server was dying, so I just stopped playing. That's really it. Like, yeah, I just stopped playing. Like, I, there was just, it wasn't fun. I don't care about GDKPs. I think GDKPs are fine. That had nothing to do with it. Blizzard maybe had put even more attention onto it with its, like, promotional materials to really get yeah. more people involved and... But nobody could have predicted, you know, these private servers, like, really growing in popularity or classic WoW hardcore. Nobody could have predicted that. No, I think you could And to be fair, hardcore. if those things wouldn't uh, have happened, who knows where World of Warcraft would be right now. World of Warcraft might just be dead in the water because nobody would care about it. I don't know. If you sat through this whole video, though... And that's you... actually a good point, bro. Like, imagine right now if there was no classic WoW, no Wrath of the Lich King, and it was all about Dragonflight. Can you imagine that? It was all about Dragonflight. Jesus. Just been like, dude, what makes Wrath of the Lich King such a big deal anyway? You gotta watch the video on your screen right now. What makes Wrath of the Lich King such a big deal? This video explains why this expansion is so beloved by the community. Why so many people love it. Mm -hmm. You should watch it next. Thanks for watching. Decent video. Like, I, I think in general, what the right, heck? I don't know why Blizzard doesn't promote Wrath more, but I think that, like, they really hurt themselves by adding the, uh, by adding the WoW token. I'm gonna be real. I think that the WoW token actually damaged the game. Like, or at least, like, maybe it's just, like, me. Maybe it's only me and I'm just speaking for myself. But, like, personally, my enthusiasm for Wrath, as soon as the WoW token got added, went down the drain. Made a pointless grind. Yeah, nothing mattered anymore. Someone made a post about BlizzCon uh, tickets selling out and the prices are going down. And then someone commented about the actual games that they could feature on BlizzCon and it's abysmal. Overwatch dead, Hearthstone dead, oh, Heroes of the Storm dead, WoW kinda dead, Diablo dead. Yeah, StarCraft, bro. And the funniest thing is that StarCraft isn't even on the list of games that are dead anymore. Yeah, it's like nobody even like start happening. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course that one's dead too. Yeah, yeah, true. Jesus, yeah. It's just it's actually it's not dead. It's been forgotten. Oh my god, I'll link you guys the video. I I, I love the Nixium videos. He always like. I remember Nixium reminded me one time in like one of these videos about how cool it was whenever you would log on to WoW after like one of Blizzard's earnings reports and Blizzard would announce that WoW had even more subscribers. Like, and everybody in trade chat was talking about it. Like, it was like, yeah, WoW just hit 10 million subscribers, hit 11 million subscribers. Yeah, dude, everybody, like, you were there, man. You were fucking there. Make sure to get this video a like. I, 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 I don't know. For me, it was the WoW token. That's whenever I really lost interest with the game. But to be fair, I stopped playing a bit before then, but the WoW token kind of makes it to where like, I don't feel like, I don't feel as motivated to come back. 